everyone and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. This week we only have new information on Super Fantasy Brawl Round 2, Hell the Last Saga, and Six Siege the board game. So, let's get to it. We know it's been some time since we've updated you on the status of our Round 2 Kickstarter for Super Fantasy Brawl, and for that we do apologize. But all the files for Round 2 have been at the factory since mid-June, and we're working on the digital proofs we've received back from them. The last files we approved were for the sleeve files. So we should be moving to the next phase very soon, which includes the printed pre-production copies or PPCs. And when we get them, we will of course let you know. So thank you so much for your support and patience. For Hell the Last Saga this week, development and testing is still going on as you can see on the updated table. Some small adjustments must be made here and there for some narrative parts and we're in the process of selecting the translators in each language through comparative tests for each saga booklet and Fate Guard paragraphs. We've added two columns to the table that will take this into account, ENG for the English language and LANG for Spanish, Italian, and German. The first sets of feedback from playtests are more than encouraging. Most of the feedback is about details and setup clarifications, which we consider immediately. The general appreciation of the writing is also very positive. The inclusion of the music needs to be a little bit more precise and fluid, though. We wanted the soundtrack to be consistent and relevant with the placement of songs and their triggering by a paragraph as an integral part of the game. This aspect of the game required specific attention from us to find our marks and the ideal rhythm for them. Similarly, we also started to write specific single-player versions of each scenario. Some require little or no change when controlling four or fewer heroes, while some songs, like Song 5, are so based on dramatic interaction between heroes that they require new paragraphs and a new bookmark. To briefly go back to the last update, we forgot to mention that the terrain tiles are still a work in progress. The icons can be even more readable, less obstructive by playing with their opacity. The graphics for the tiles, which our tile artist, the great David Demaray, is still working on. And they can still be improved and will present more variety as well. Please keep in mind that everything we show you at this stage is still a work in progress and we're always listening to your feedback. And some of that feedback has already been given to us by the playtesters for the most part. So stay tuned and hang on. You all did it. 10,884 backers pledged no less than $1,541,463 to bring Six Siege the board game to life and we can't thank you enough. Your pledges allowed us to present a game that has a core box, five operator expansion boxes, two map pack expansions, alternate operator skins for Ubisoft's Rainbow Six Siege video game to match the alternate minis our sculptors have designed, upgraded components, and several blinged out accessories that will help enrich your experience. We are super proud of the collaborative effort we put forward with Ubisoft to bring the dream to life, and we couldn't have done it without you, the backers. So it's from the deepest part of our hearts that we want to thank you for your support and confidence. Now, while we don't have an exact date yet, the pledge manager will be opening sometime in the next few weeks. Those of you who pledged during the campaign will be notified by email when the pledge manager launches. Now, if you were unable to pledge during the campaign, the pledge manager will be your opportunity to get in on the action, and the prices will remain the same as they were during the Kickstarter campaign. We will, of course, continue to keep you notified as to the product's progression with these newscast videos, Leo's live Q&As, and our What's Up Wednesday updates. So stay tuned, operators. We have a lot more in store for you. 
Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions or if you just want to see what he might spoil. But that's it for this week. Stay safe and play some games while you're at it. We'll see you on the flip side. Take care. <laughs>